Thank you so much, Brown. Um, that was very inspiring. Um, on to the second award, uh, which is Angela Okech from Kenya. Angela Okech is one journalist that has cut a niche in her family planning reporting. She has been at the forefront of reporting and telling family planning stories that have changed the lives of many Kenyans, including for more people, even the Muslim community, on the subject where it is considered taboo to pick up. In Kenya, the reproductive health policy dictates that minors below the years of 18 should not be given contraceptives, and if they have to be given or have the contraceptives, then they have to get the consent of their parent or the parents have to be in the room. Which obviously, this clause had kept adolescents who are sexually active um, and leaving them out and contributed to high teenage pregnancies. Angela highlighted, highlighted the story and got the attention of policymakers, and it is now under review. More stories and Twitter space about the topic followed and more stories that have won her many awards. She deserves the award for the tremendous work that she has been doing in advocating for family planning amongst the less fortunate groups. Angela, if you can please join us on stage and please join me in welcoming her. Um, this is truly a touching and special moment uh, to be honored with such an award. Uh, first, let me uh, thank the Special Award Committee for recognizing uh, my work. Uh, special thanks to my employer, the National Media Group, for making it easy and giving me the opportunity to tell these kind of stories. I extend my sincere gratitude uh, to my editors, mentors, and colleagues uh, back at the health desk for being the strength and foot soldiers in bringing forth many of the special and investigative health stories. They have made this dream come true. I also thank my family uh, back at home for the moral support. Uh, memories of young teenagers uh, I speak to, uh, most of the 11 year old, in deep uh, part of the Western Kenya brings this uh, award together and I thank them for having given me the chance to tell their stories and make an impact. I believe that by telling such stories, uh, like compelling stories, those in authority will move in and avail basic things like contraceptives in government health facilities. I wish policy makers, including the government, will soon act on the non-inclusive sexual and reproductive health laws. Sites of the helpless young adolescents left with the burden of taking care of their children and outdated beliefs that hinder women and men from planning their families make me stronger every day to tell these kind of stories to the world. Each time I write a story, I try to ensure that every word that I write gives hope to the less fortunate who may, have, who may not have the opportunity to speak for themselves, I am the voice of the voiceless. It's the desire to bring change in the society that gives, me the voice, the, gives the voiceless a voice that keeps me going. I have been at the forefront of reporting and telling family planning stories that have changed the life of many Kenyans. Through my reporting, I have advocated for more people to have access to family planning, family planning services, including initiating a review of Kenyan legislative on the issue. I want to dedicate this award to the lives that I have been able to touch in a positive way. Journalism is my passion and gives me the fulfill, fulfillment and purpose in life. Thank you all. Thank you, ICFP.